You know, we like to call motoring the show about cars and the people who drive them. And they could be driving sport utilities, minivans, whatever. But you know, there's an element of our population that could not care less about a new vehicle, the latest in technology, and they avoid any kind of road that has asphalt on it. You may work with some of these people, but you don't know their dark side. Now, you're probably guessing I'm talking about off-roaders. Well, not really. This week, we're going to meet a group of men and women that are on a completely different planet, and they call themselves mudboggers. extreme off-road, very extreme. It's like a, a redneck car show, I guess you, you might say. The vehicles here, some guys have built them themselves, some are brand new vehicles, and some vehicles are modified just for this event. We got the crew from Motoring 09 here, and the first thing we're gonna do is make sure our day is as fun as possible. The guys that build these machines, I mean, they waterproof them. There's lots of mud, lots of water. We had Hurricane Mike go through here, and I mean, he provided lots of water for us so we didn't have to do much water for the pits. But the amount of time that these guys do in prepping trucks, like, I mean, a lot of guys take a week in getting a truck set up just for this event. All drivers and passengers must be wearing a seatbelt. All drivers are to maintain a safe speed with their vehicle. My family just loves getting dirty. We started this whole thing, basically, uh, we saw your show on uh, 2004 where they showed the uh, Gopher Dunes. My cousin brought out my son and his son, and shortly after that, we bought a truck, and we've been here ever since. You just basically dive into the pits, go full throttle, all out, and see if you can get to the end. If you can, slow down, go to the next pit, stay in line, and go do it again. We want you to use the chains that are on the tractors. I mean, I looked at some of the tow strap you guys got on your trucks. I mean, my dog has a bigger chain than some of the ones you guys are using, so use our chains. Tires are a big factor. A lot of the guys prefer the big, wide, fat tires. A lot of guys, the tall, skinny tires, all deep mud tires. Vehicles range from anything from your little Suzuki Samurais to your big three-quarter ton diesels. So we've got a combination of everything, and everything works a little different. So it, this is like a rolling car show today, and I guess it's fun. It's fun for people to watch. Tell me about this place. What's it all about? Uh, I've been coming here about five years. Uh, it's about having some fun, hanging out with buddies, and uh, getting money and dirty. It gives us a place to go, right? Like, there's no place to go, really, to... You know, you can't go in farmers' fields and ruin their crops and stuff. This gives us a, a place to come out and, uh, like I said, just uh, tie one on the day and get her going. This is a Chevy Tracker with um, Bobcat tires that uh, we've cut out the wheel wells so they fit. They're 33 inches and cut out the bolt pattern so uh, the Tracker rims what, bolts onto the axle. What's the worst thing go wrong when you're going through? What's your strategy? Um, I just put the bell pedal to the floor and go. <laughs> the steering wheel's pulling live. No power steering, so it's kind of hard to hold on to, but it's okay. What do you got to say about up to all the women waiting out there watching right now? Get on it. Get it done. It's fun. <laughs> Don't let the guys show you what to do. All right. It's pretty much all handmade. It's a 84 Dodge pickup, 4x4. There's about four feet cut off the back, so the rear end has moved ahead. Uh, it's a body off of a Jeep, and then the rad is out of a, a Chrysler Cordoba. The rad fans are off of a Intrepid. It's all scrapyard bits. I thought a rad was supposed to be on the front. Well, it's better on the back. That way, you can't get filled with mud. Guys that love trucks, guys that love mud. And you know what? With the areas closing down more and more, it's uh, there's very few places you can do this anymore. So you know what? We're, like I said, Gopher Dunes is a facility that's you know caters to the off-road enthusiasts. So this is one of, just one of the things that we want to provide for them. The question is, are you having any fun? Oh. Yes, we are. We're having a blast. <laughs> What is it about this? <laughs> it's a blast. Does it get any better than this? I mean, this oh, no, no, way. no way. It's a blast, man. Everybody's got to try it. What are you driving? It's a Toyota, 1990 Toyota 4Runner. Can you add a few things to it? Just cut her apart. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, guys, that's the famous time to say, gentlemen, start your engines. Let's get over in my mom. No blackberries around here. No blackberries. And if they are, they're put away. Today, if you're a teacher, a doctor, a lawyer, today you're a redneck. You know, they're celebrating their 10th anniversary here at Gopher Dunes with this mud bog, and everybody thinks they've seen it all every year. But a wedding, that is a first. And you know, I know one guy who would love to be here, not to get married, but to check out these trucks. And that's our man in the Quaker State Garage, Bill Gardner. Well, they're still mud bogging here at Gopher Dunes, just outside of Tilsonburg, Ontario, but we've got to go. But before we do, I just want to share a conversation I had recently with an executive from Toyota headquarters in Japan. He was a little disillusioned because he believed that young people today weren't interested in buying a vehicle. They were more interested in the latest computer or iPod. Well, that's what I love about being out here. These men and women, many of them are young. They have a love affair with their trucks and they're doing to these trucks what they were built to do believe me the engineers would be proud so maybe if that gentleman from toyota drops by next year's event he'll be feeling more positive about the future that's it for now we'll see you next time out as we bring you more stories about cars and trucks whatever and the people who drive them